good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anywhere where you did now, you are the great. So I'm going to be listening. So I have an issue that I started treating yesterday. So this guy has been training this girl. You see, it's an old issue, but people don't want to learn. Now the girl has finished her university. He's about to go. She's about to go for youth service. And now she feels that the guy is not good enough, okay? And now she's claiming that when she starts working, she can pay the guy everything that she spent. I called her yesterday and I, and the way she was even talking, she was very rude. Okay, so for starters, she claimed that the guy never told her from beginning that he wants to marry her. That she was selling, she was hawking for her mom. They sell Akara and all of those things. And the guy saw her, she's Igbo, the guy is also Igbo. She said she's from Anambara State, the guy is Imo State or something like that. And that the guy saw her hawking all this Akara and Pap and all of that and spoke to her and took her to her mom and told the mom that the way this your daughter is hawking all these things, I don't like it. I want to put her in school and all of that. And the, ma and the mother was very happy and excited, prayed for the guy and the guy erodes her in polytechnic now she has been in that polytechnic for four years she did her ond her hnd now she's about to go for youth service now the guy now said before you go for youth service let's get married so that i know that you are going into youth service as a married woman the girl now said no you are not the kind of man i want to marry you why will i get married to you blah 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 and the man said ah but I've been taking care of you based on the fact that I was building your future. Since I didn't go to school, I'm a trader. I wanted a wife that is educated. And I liked you and I believe, I felt that, okay, let me just train you when you are done so that you will not be under pressure Then we can get married. And the girl claimed now that he never mentioned marriage. So I asked the guy, because the guy is the one that brought the issue to me. And I said, did you ever told her you wanted to marry her? He said, well, he never really said, I want to marry you, but that... Picking her from the streets and making her who she is right now. Now she speaks in good English and everything and everything. She felt he felt that even going all to the extent of taking her to the family and all of that. That I mean, why would he be doing that if he wasn't interested in building a future with her? That when she when he is not second Jesus Christ. And I said, well, um, you see, now the girl is standing on the fact that she felt that God just sent you to them to help them. You've never asked her for sex. You never asked her for anything. That she felt that you were just doing it to help her, and now she's in love with a schoolboy that she met in this school, and that they are they've been planning their life together. So in the past four years that she's been in that school, she's been with this guy because they they, they practically started the school together at the same time. And now how can she now leave this guy that she's already in love with to follow you that never even told her I want to sleep with you. That even when she comes to your house to cook for you and everything, you treat her like a sister and oh, I don't know. And I told the guy, I say, look, if you really look at it, the guy has a point. If you want something, you should have made it clear. I want to marry you. That is why I'm training you. And when, the, when you went to the mother, you tell the mom, I want to marry this, your daughter. That's why I, I want to train her. Let the woman say yes or no, I agree. Or I do not agree. Not that you finish training a, a girl, then she wants to go to NYC. And then now you want to marry her. And she's saying she's in love with somebody else. And you truly can't blame her because you never told her you wanted to marry her. So she has a point. But the way the girl is going about it is what I don't like. Yeah, you love somebody and she tell you, you have a point. The guy did not tell you that he wants to marry you. So you just felt that this guy is just um, somebody good Samaritan or sent by God to help you. And maybe you two never really liked him enough to even make that move. You know, there are some people that are very, very shy. They don't know how to tell a woman, I want you. But that they, they use their actions to tell you, I want something better, you know, more from you than just being your brother or friend or whatever. And I think that the man did that by by doing all he did because the man is not somebody that has a lot of money in money he would have according to him the house he was building in the village he has to post that project just to train this lady and so many things the luxury he would have enjoyed he he stopped them just to train this lady i mean only your family can do that for you without asking for anything in return if a man is doing that for you they definitely the man has something in his mind that he's not saying now but the thing is you must clear it out if you go to court now you won't win because you never told this lady you wanted to marry her. You people were never dating. Yes, she comes to your house, sleeps in your house, but you never had sex with her. You people never did anything. And she was catching her cruising school. And now she's about to go to youth service. You're telling her you want to marry her. Like I said, what the way the lady is going about it is what I don't like. She's being very rude, telling the man that when she starts working, she's going to pay, her, pay him every dime he spent on her. Imagine if that man did not pick her from the street, selling that akara and whatever. 
where her life would have been now. It's possible that her life would have been like this or better than this or still remain the way it is. What I think she should have done is maybe call her mom, invite her mom and tell her mom, this is what this man is talking about. But please, can you talk to him, beg him or whatever? I'm in love with somebody else. He never mentioned it and everything and everything. Maybe a piece to the man, not tell the man, not throw it to his face that I will pay you back the money because you now have the means to pay back the money. Because the means is that educate, education, that empowerment that this man has given you. And I keep telling people, look, if you are an illiterate, you go and train a woman or you go and train a man. Trust me, by the time he is done, she is done. You will no longer be good enough. I keep saying this thing. There is no educated woman that wants to marry an illiterate man. There is no illiterate man that wants to marry an educated woman. It's even good for an illiterate, uh, um, educated man to marry an illiterate woman because he will still provide for her. He will still make her even up to the standard that he wants. I mean, when it goes to like this, how will it be? So the thing is, it's very, very difficult. For an educated woman to marry an uneducated man, it's oh, I don't know why people do this. You do not train yourself. You carry all your life savings and train a woman. Now she wants to marry somebody else, and you were stupid about it. You also did not tell the woman, I want to marry you, to know that if the woman says no, you take a pause and find the one to train. If you, you, are, you feel like training a woman before you marry her, you find the one that will agree to marriage, or you marry her before uh, uh, start waste, spending your money on her. At least before she go graduate, you don't collect two children for your hand. By the time you graduate, say she don't do it again. You know, say you hold something for her. Now there is nothing. You never even had kind of knowledge of her. You never seen her body. Never. So now the frustration is kind of much for the guy guys what do you advise him to do because what i've told him to do is to forget about it and leave it for god he has done his own for god let god be the one to reward him god might even reward him with a woman finer and better than this woman that he trained just because he did this good deed that is what i advised him but he's still bent of going to carry a rosy told me is that what he said in Igbo? my I, I will carry a rosy and all of that I don't know what that means, but whatever it is, I want to believe that he's, he wants to carry Juju against this woman. And if the Juju is being fair, Juju no will catch the woman because he never told her that he wants to marry her. You understand? That's my own point. She should have just made it clear from the beginning. Even have her sign documents or even put dowry on her head before she started this school. Why do you want to go on a, a wild goose chase and then at the end of the day, yeah. Anyway, that's what I think, and that's my advice uh, advice for her, uh, for, for both of them. And I've also told her to stop being rude, to stop saying she's going to return the money to the guy. That's what is making the guy angry.